Alright, let's just get this over with. Alright, alright. I'll be unbiased here. Iron Man 3. So Iron Man 3 is finally released in theaters, and the question everybody wants to know is, is, does it deliver? Does it actually continue the grand scale that Avengers set up, or for that matter, does it continue the lackluster performance that we got in the convoluted plot hole mishap that is known as Iron Man 2? Iron Man 3 continues the story of billionaire, genius, douchebag, Tony Stark. That description sound familiar to you guys? It should, because that's Bruce Wayne's description. That's right, Batman. Now, why, G-Money, would you make a Batman reference in an Iron Man video? Everything that they tried to do with The Dark Knight Rises and didn't quite work, works in Iron Man 3. It takes away pretty much everything from Tony Stark, strips him away, and makes it the whole movie a lot more about the man himself and not the suit that he inhabits as the Iron Avenger. Iron Man 3 is so well paced and so well written that even though Iron Man himself is not on screen often, you don't really miss much of him because they do such a great job at telling a story and really go delving into the character of Tony Stark. Now the majority of you know that I'm not a fan of Tony Stark's character. I do not like the guy. In his world, he's the big cheese. He's the top-notch guy. But after Avengers, he understands that, just like Nick Fury said, he is part of a greater universe. And understands that, you know, he might be, you know, all that in a bag of potato chips in his world, but in the grand scale of things, he's nothing but a human in an iron suit. And that really plagues Tony in this movie. I mean, he has post-traumatic stress, he can't sleep, and Tony being who he is, what do you think he does when he doesn't sleep? He creates more Iron Man outfits. He works on this tech. He tries to advance it. Very much like the comic book. Really well done in this movie to tell the way that he actually does make a lot more suits. So what about the villains in this movie? Is there actually a threat from the villains? Do you actually feel like you care? Well, the fact of the matter is, yeah, you do. Because you've got not one, but two villains. And not like in Iron Man 2 where you had Whiplash and, you know, uh, Justin Hammer. I mean, you had something like that this time, but in a completely different way. Aldrich Killian creates the Extremist Experiment. I do recommend that you actually do read the Iron Man Extremist comic book if you get the chance. It will explain a whole lot more stuff in regards to that part of the movie. Guy Pierce, hands down, best Iron Man villain yet. What's the left of your life? Yes, the Mandarin is in this movie after all the teasing from part one and part two, and finally the Mandarin is in the movie, and wow, Ben Kingsley just, you know, when he's on screen, you know, and he's, you know, in full garb, and you're just like, damn. Both uh, Aldrich Killian and the Mandarin really create a threat that has unprecedented to Tony Stark himself. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. G-Money, you're supposed to be the one that trashes Iron Man. You've been trashing Iron Man for the past couple of months. Where is the negative in the movie? You obviously got to talk about a negative. Is there a negative in this movie? Yeah, there is. There's one glaring negative. The twist in this movie works well, but it is kind of anticlimactic when it happens. But other than that, that was pretty much the only real negative I can find. So, in the end, Iron Man 3 does a great job all around. The story is there, the character development is there, the villains deliver, the action when it does happen, and when it does, is off the charts. I mean, you would not see anything that is just... It's awesome. The movie is, without a doubt, a lot of fun to watch. I recommend going to see it. It is just... It is a great way to kick off the summer movies. It's just... It's all around. I gotta say, Iron Man 3 is... Totally Tanuki. I think hell's freezing over. I just gave props to an Iron Man movie. Woo. Go see Iron Man 3. Trust me, you won't regret it. Even for the simple fact that I'm the one who's been trashing it all around, says it's a good movie. Go watch it. And for that matter, I recommend you stay after the credits because, yes, there is a post credit scene that will make you chuckle. But that's all the time we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And, of course, we'll see you next time right here on The Cash Show. And until next time, this is me, G Money, telling y'all... Peace.